will charge back back The genius sisters use them like a lab rat A neat freak dad at home, a super busy mom is a talking dog. Three stream jeans in an air breathing shot. Mega action game control skating in the park. A fair booster bling bling. What do we make of this? Johnny Test. This is a life of a boy named Johnny Test. are so not scary. <laughs> not scary! <laughs> Still not scary. Halloweens just aren't what they used to be. Why can't someone have a really scary haunted house? Like, for real? Yeah, uh, maybe because there's no such thing as ghosts. Whatever. And we need to find a way to haul in more candy. What? Last year, we carried eight bags each and eight different masks so we could hit every house eight times. Yeah, that was good. We have to find a way to get more. A lot more. Hey, what's that? That kind of looks like real blood. Spend the night in the mansion by the graveyard. The scariest, realest haunted house ever made. And win a ton of candy! <laughs> to collect the reward, you must wear the costume in the box below. See? There's always a catch. Ah, who cares? It's for a ton of candy! What the? <laughs> I am so not wearing this! <laughs> you heard the skeleton. You want the reward, you gotta wear it. Hey, do you guys wanna... <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? That's your costume? <laughs> Why is he wearing that? There was a note on the door. If he wears it and spends a night in the haunted house by the graveyard, he'll get a ton of candy. Oh, please. It's trick or treat. And that's obviously a trick. It didn't seem like one, so I'm doing it. Suit yourself. We are going to the costume party at the Institute, dressed up as Agents Black and White, where I think we'll be winning first prize. You guys do look amazing. Yeah, we were going to invite you, but now it'd be kind of embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see who's laughing when you come begging to get some of my ton of candy, and I don't give you any! Ah! That would carry so much more weight if you weren't wearing a tutu. <laughs> Not helping! Now let's get you a dress! A dress? The skeleton didn't say I had to wear anything like that. So I'm going as... Silver Poosh! Come on, ballerina boy! <laughs> Uh, what's with the getup, Johnny? Was the store sold out of space pirates or ninja costumes? I gotta wear it and spend the night in a haunted house to get a big reward of a ton of candy. Where are you guys going? We're off to the Institute party where we're sure to win first prize in the costume contest. Hey, Johnny. Okay, say whatever you're gonna say, person in the lame ghost costume. I wasn't going to say anything. Oh, hey, Jillian. What's with the deep voice? Part of your costume? I'm just getting over a cold. <laughs> I didn't even want to go out and do this, but my mom said I should act like an Earth kid. So, <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to spend a night in the haunted house for a ton of candy. Cool. Can I go with? Okay, but I'm not splitting a sweet booty. Whatever. No, Johnny, it looks kind of scary. Piece of cake. I can taste the candy now. Oh, come on. <laughs> Stop ringing that infernal doorbell. <laughs> Where were you? In the bathroom? Mm, none of your business. Whatever, dude. I'm here for my ton of candy. You know the rules. In order to get that, you have to survive the night in the house. Survive? Your invite said spend. It is? Well, that was a typo then. 
my bad. Anyway, welcome to your doom. Where are we? What was that? Probably nothing. But the special effects keep getting better. Gotta say, those spiders kind of look real. They look real because they are real! Oh man, look at my tutu. You may have defeated the spiders, but you will never see the morning. <laughs> oh, great. A pool full of alligators. They're crocodiles. You can tell by the narrow V-shaped snout. The alligator, crocodile, blah, 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 they're gonna eat us. If only we could, like, fly over them. Duh, you're wearing a super pooch suit! <laughs> With my light flashing before my eyes, I forgot. So let's fly, dog, fly! Cool. Later, Gator! Oh, foiled by that dog! I must separate him from his power suit! Ah, cue the music! to your costume, Super Pooch. Doggy Dizzy. Now what? That was a better landing than I expected. What is that? It's a giant maggot! Jillian! Ah! 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 Oh! Ugh, this place stinks. How are we gonna get out of here? Well, either the way we came in, or... Ew! No way! There's gotta be... Oh! I know something we can try! <gasps> Quick thinking with the feathers from the pillow! Now we just tickle the maggot until he sneezes us out! <laughs> <laughs> Thank to be dead in stars, you're all right. Dad, what are you doing here? Uh, I, um, uh, uh, it was you, wasn't it? Yes, I was trying to destroy you, Johnny. Dad, why? Because he made a mess of my vegetable garden six times in two weeks. So? I'm a vegan! Right. They were accidents. I didn't mean to do it. We even have a saying on Earth for that. Stuff happens. And besides, that's what friends and neighbors do. They forgive each other. Really? Well, I'll try to remember that. Again, uh, thank you for saving my daughter from the maggot. So, we can just chalk all this up to stuff happens then and move on, huh? Oh, I don't think so. There's still the matter of the ton of candy. Yes, about that. There is no candy. Say what? I didn't think you were going to survive. What a rip! Now I'm not going to have any candy. I wasted my whole Halloween. Oh, you know, if we hurry, we can still get some candy from the Halloween party at the Institute. Perfect. As a neighbor and a friend, I shall take us there. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, the winner of Best Costume. 
Oh, we are so winning this. In your dreams. When the spotlight hits you and I call you out, come and get your prize. <laughs> the third place winner. Second place winner. And our grand champion, Zombie Ballerina Boy. And this year's prize is a high-tech, awesome candy maker. Now we can make two tons of candy. Dude, that'll totally tide us over until Christmas. Maybe even until Easter. <laughs> Six hours of Super Monster Smackdown on Tokyo. Johnny, what's going on in here? We're gonna watch the once a year six hour monster movie marathon. No, you are not. It's a school night, and it's already hard enough to get you up in the morning as it is. Besides, you'll have nightmares. No, I won't. You don't love me! Johnny, that's not true. If I didn't love you, I'd let you stay up and watch the movie. Now off to bed. <laughs> We're gonna watch the marathon, aren't we? Oh, yeah. The dream catcher is all set. The two satellite dishes tune into our thought waves while we sleep. Then it'll capture our dreams and store them in its memory drives. Tomorrow it will reprocess them and through advanced molecular regeneration it will make all our dreams come true. So let's dream about nothing but kill all night long. Mm -hmm. ah. <laughs> Pleasant kill dreams! <laughs> no one will hear us with these headphones! Keep it down, dog. Thanks for watching the terrorizing six hour monster movie marathon. Johnny, your dad's gonna be mad if you can't get up for school. Don't worry, got it covered. I just borrowed the girl's alarm clock as a backup. And the papa never know we stay up late. Night night. <sighs> Bob, look out! Crap. Jerry Monsters. <laughs> Johnny, get up! Wake up! I didn't watch the terrorizing six hour monster movie, Dad! Okay, cold shower time! <laughs> Told ya! You stole our guild dream catcher! Cut to the chase. Should me and the boy be worried about this? Yes. It was going to capture our dreams about Gil and then make them come to fruition today. It's probably ruined now. Who knows what Johnny dreamed about? Right, got it. Bye! <laughs> what did they just say? Please tell me that was a normal alarm clock I borrowed. This is Hank Anchorman, and Pork Belly Middle School is being attacked by a giant crab! Well, that looks familiar. Do you know what this means? No school today? No, it means this is all your fault! We checked the Dreamcatcher's memory, and it was filled with dreams of giant monsters and a little about Gil from us before you stole it! Enough about Dreamy Gil. How do we stop Johnny's dreams that have come to life? And Doggy freaking out now! I'm freaking out too! You tell us! This is your fault, because we dreamt about Gil, not monsters! Your dad told you not to watch those movies! Ha! In that case, we could show Dad the evidence, and he'd know you disobeyed him, and then you'll be grounded for, like, a year. Yeah, blah, 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 it's your fault, too. Let's see how grounded you get, because you made a nightmare machine that an innocent boy can get a hold of. Blaming each other doesn't solve anything! Hmm, good point, but he dreamed up the giant crab, and we're not helping this time! Water on me when I get attacked by a giant crab! Yeah. Help! <laughs> Sister's helping now. Yeah. To the lab! Somehow the dream machine cross-connected Johnny's scary dream with our lovely dreams and created the ultimate nightmare. A giant crab monster on the loose in the city, endangering our guild! Okay, here's the plan. You guys really love Gil and are really good at science, so you fix this. And I'll go back to bed because I was up all night watching monster movies. We're not doing that! Do you have a better idea? How did they destroy it in the movie? Well, the military steamed it in its own shell. Then the townspeople ate it in a big movie and acceleration. Yeah, we're not doing that. How about shrink rays attached to hovercrafts? We fly low under Krabby's radar, shrink him, he lets go of Gil, and we set Tiny Crab free to live a happy life. Uh, that could work, too. 
Let's take this crustacean downtown. He's already downtown. It's an expression. But what about the boy in his claw? In every great giant crab battle throughout history, there's always been a little collateral damage. Let's lock it low! Get away! We have a plan! We've equipped our hovercrafts with shrink rays. So, Susan, Johnny, and Dookie will surround the crab and blast it with the shrink rays. At the same moment, I'll grab Gil from the claw, saving his life. For which he'll want to thank me with a candlelit dinner where he'll pour water on himself. Right. The water pouring dream was my dream. Uh, I dreamed it too. I'm gonna save him. Oh, yeah. Focus! Because we all need to save Gil and the town. Good point. <laughs> This is Brown Dog and Flame Boy. We have Giant Crab inside, locking on target. Fire! Oh no! Yeah! Oh, thanks, Johnny Bro. Oh, we should get a candle at dinner sometime. Um, okay. Well, there goes a big crab baked victory celebration dinner. But the good news is the nightmare crab is gone. And Gil is safe. <laughs> yeah, he was in my dreams last night, too. <laughs> and it's falling in love with Gil! Exactly how many monsters can we expect in Pork Belly today? Four. That's just great. The upside is you saw all the movies, so you can tell us how they defeated each monster. Hank Anchorman here. First a giant crab, now a giant cyclops is pounding what's left of the school. It's like a monster movie has come to life. Who could be at the bottom of this? Johnny, that's who. Dreamcatcher from the lab of Susan and Mary Test, they are in so much trouble. <laughs> Okay, in this movie, the military tied up this super evil Zygon with super cool rope. Help! This monster has seriously bad P.O. Then what? Somebody help Gil! Then they knocked it out with a giant boxing glove! Thanks again, Johnny Bra. Hang on! Then they zapped it to a different dimension and they all lived happily ever after. Well, that worked out quite nicely. Ah! Yeah! Oh, no! Not again! Oh, Glop Monster. That's rough. I fell asleep at the end of this one, but I think our freeze rays could work nicely. Works for us! But be careful. I remember this monster has a nasty natural blaster. Uh, what is it? <laughs> yeah, never mind. Stop! We did it! Now to save our man! <sighs> Not again. Johnny! Unbelievable! It's like my weirdest day ever! First, for no reason, I get a pitcher of water, dump it on myself, then monsters fall in love with me. Don't worry, Gil! We won't let anything happen to you! Thanks, girls whose names I forget. <laughs> but I'm gonna hang with Johnny, who's been saving my life all day. But uh, we're the ones that have been actually destroying the monsters! Speaking of which, we've only seen three! What's the last one? Giant monster bunny thing? No, a giant monster bunny thing that's in love with Gal! Did that dog just. <laughs> Ooh, let's go with the shrink rate. I love cute fuzzy bunnies. Uh, I mean, let's save Gil in the town. And Johnny, it's our turn to save Gil. Got it. You guys save him this time, not me. Sure made a mess of our city. But look! We got a new fuzzy, cute little buddy. Let's get back to the base and make it a nice, comfy place to live. Well, this is wrapping up quite nicely. No, it's not! Johnny! Girls! Yeah, you're right. You destroy the city, and now we live in a destroyed city! You are so grounded, mister! Take it easy, Johnny's dad. This little guy's been saving me all day. Your son is a hero, sir. 
No one has ever said that about Johnny before. Way to go, son. But I was really looking forward to punishing someone, so... A dream catcher! How many times have I told you not to mess with dreams and bring them to life because they can destroy the city and other things and... How many times?! Don't blame them, Dad. It's my fault. I took their dream catcher to wake up early because I watched monster movies like I was not supposed to and so punish me, not them. Wow. I've never heard you say anything like that before. And our town may be destroyed, but I'm proud of you, Johnny. So I can take my hero to dinner? You bet, Gil. You have to invite my sisters, too. You have sisters? 